Chris again with another video. Today we're going to be going over how to basically flash the stock firmware or the factory image for your next bit of Robin. And we're going to be doing that first. We're going to need to download some things. But let's go ahead and go over to community.nextbit.com. And then you'll be brought to this page. You're going to go down to Android Development. And then go to Tools. There's going to be two threads you're going to want to open. Go ahead and open the Robin USB drivers. Next, we're going to need to go and open Nextbit Robin factory images. So the factory image you're going to need to download is this one here, the latest, the OOWW1450. Unfortunately, NuGet is not officially out for the Robin. And secondly, we're going to need to download the USB driver. So let's go ahead and download both of those. I already got the drivers here. All right, so since I, we're gonna go ahead and just install the drivers real quick. I already have them installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just repair just to make sure. All right, perfect. And our factory image is almost done. What you're gonna need to do, of course, is get your next bit Robin and your USB-C cable. What you are going to need to do is then boot your phone into fast boot. All right, so we can see here fast boot mode. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and plug in our Robin. Now we're going to go ahead and open the folder where we downloaded the factory images to. And let's go ahead, also you need to make sure that you do have um, ADB fast boot already. We're gonna extract, we're gonna go ahead and just put it onto our desktop and create a new folder real quick. As Robin. That's gonna take a minute. So the reason why I'm doing this is because finally Nextbit sent me an email saying they got replacements for their Robin. This is about a three and a half month long wait. So I'm going to be wiping the device, just flashing the stock firmware on it, and sending it off to them. So that's why I'm going through this process for you all. Thought I'd make a video. So what we're going to want to do is select this Windows batch file. We're going to go ahead and right click and we want to run as administrator. Do you want to wipe the device when flashing? We want to say yes. All right, it's going through and flashing all the necessary files and that the basically the, the batch file um, is going to do everything mm -hmm. for you so you don't need to worry about doing individual mm -hmm. commands for each one, so that's good. And once it's done, system is going to be the, lo the largest file of it all. So unfortunately I'm not going to be doing any other videos for the next bit Robin for a while until I get my replacement back. Um, but in the meantime, if you guys want to see anything specific for the next bit Robin, um, leave a comment down below and I will read every comment and I'll do my best to respond. And hopefully when I get the replacement Robin back, I'll be able to provide more content to you all. Alright, so it looks like it's done. Press any key to exit and reboot the system. Alright, now that is done. Right, so let's go ahead and just unplug this real quick. I'm pressing holding the power and volume down buttons at the same time. Let's go ahead and just click on restart and the stock Robin boot animation should appear and that just confirms that the flash was successful. And there, there you go. There's the stock boot animation. So thank you all for watching. Like the video if you liked it and please subscribe that way you're notified for future content and I appreciate you all for watching. Take care.